Ex militant leaders fight over 48 billion Naira pipeline contract uh, renewal. Wow. We know that in Niger Delta, uh, this contract has been with Tompolo for some time now from Muhammad Ubari, the previous uh, president. Okay. And uh, with this contract, huge, very huge contract, other militant leaders in Niger Delta have been very jealous and have been angry at Tompolo on that. And Tompolo has been doing the job quietly. Uh, whether there's a result or not, we don't know. But I know that this contract was basically to uh, to quiet him and also to help reduce pipeline vandalization and oil theft. But did oil theft stop? I doubt it. Okay, this is a case of giving the cat a dry fish to secure. Uh, because they eat as small, small. Another round of tension has gripped the oil industry in the Niger Delta over the renewal of the 48 billion a uh, Naira oil pipeline surveillance contract awarded to the former leader of the dreaded movement for the emancipation of Naira that amend chief government Ekpemupolo alias Tompolo. Already the renewal of the contract had pitched Tompolo against his colleagues involved in the struggle in the region, particularly the leader of the defunct Niger Delta People's Volunteer Force, Mujahid Asari Dokubo, His Royal Majesty Ateke Tom, a BK, a big Victor Ben, alias Boilov, Chief uh, Bibu Pere, Aljube, alias Shoot Aside, and an ex warlord in the Imo State Aziz of the region, Commander Nigeria, okay, among others across the states of the oil rich belt. I know that this will be a problem actually, and since uh, Tinubu said he was going to split that contract between Tompolo. And uh, Asari Dokubo, I know that from that day, fight will start among themselves. The multi billion Naira security job awarded to Tantita uh, Security Services, owned by Tompolo in August 2022, is due for renewal by the end of this month, a development which has triggered intense intrigues and maneuvering by some ex warlords to wrestle it from the former men commander. Leadership gathered that the ex militant commanders are strongly opposed to the renewal of the contract as exclusively packaged for Tompolo in 2022. Leadership uh, recalls that the contract covers surveillance and protection of oil pipelines, which crisscrossed various oil producing communities in Bayesa Delta, Imo, Ondo, and Rivers State. The award of the job to Tompolo was facilitated by former Deputy President of the Senate, Senator Ovie Ovioma Gage, former Minister of State for Petroleum, Chief Timmy Priya Siva, and the Group Managing Director of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, Mr. Melekiari, in August 2022. One year later, as Tompolo prepared to approach the management of NNPCL for the renewal of the contract, his ex-colleagues were up in arms against him. The protesting ex militant commanders are agitating for the splitting of the contract to accommodate divergent interests. Okay, there are mounting pressures on the presidency and NNPCL not to reward or reaward the contract solely to Tompolo and his outfit in its present uh, component. The vehemently opposed an omnibus contract to be awarded to Tompolo which would cover places outside this area of influence in Baramatu Aziz of Wari, South Local Government Area of Delta State. They insisted that his ambience of operation should be, should be limited to his communities in Delta State while they are allowed to also operate in their areas. Okay, they rejected the template offered by the embattled warlord to sublet part of the job to them in their different enclaves enclaves, insisting that the package being offered by Tompolo was at variance with his earning from NNPCL for the job. Hmm. Instead, leadership learned that they were unanimous at the contract, um, that the contract was split, with each components awarded separately to individual ex-commanders to man their areas of influence. Already, the aggrieved warlords have protested to the presidency 
especially the National Security Advisor Malano Huribadu and Kiari, apparently to halt the moves to award the contract in bulk to their kinsman. Leadership learned that Kiari reportedly advised the protesters to remain calm uh, pending the inauguration of the Minister of State for Petroleum, Senator Henneken Lukbobri, who is expected to prepare a memo on the festering issue for the attention of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. It was gathered that Tompolo was also having a running battle with his kinsmen and some close associates of Tinubu who were bent on punishing him for allegedly not supporting the ruling of Progressive Congress in the 2023 polls. Can you imagine? They accused the ex militant commander of having supported and heavily funded the main opposition uh, party PDP within and outside Delta State in the just concluded elections. Those opposing Tompolo said he didn't reciprocate the visit of Tinubu in, a, in, in company with Kerry and other top party, a top party stalwart to his enclave on Friday, November 25, 2022, and the visit of another team raised by the president and headed by Kerry with Wale and Shei Tinubu as members of the team. On the eve of the governorship and houses of assembly elections on March 17, 2023, to garner votes and support for the uh, for the government. However, to starve off any untoward development, Tompolo's men and foot soldiers were reportedly to have relocated to Abuja to intensify lobby to retain the status quo in the award of the job. Leadership gathered that they have approached Rivado Kiari, Chief of Staff to the President, Mr. Femgeja Vyamila, and other influential members of the inner circles of Tinubu, including members of the president's immediate family, for help. But despite stiff opposition, investigation by this paper revealed that um, Tompolo's bid to renew the job still enjoyed the backing and support of Siva, who is apparently relying on the former main leader for support in the November 2023 gubernatorial election in Bayesa State. Omar Gigui, who was said to have forgiven Tompolo for not supporting his gubernatorial ambition in 2023 election and the chief executive of NNPCL. They were reportedly touching base with powerful links within and outside the presidency to ensure that Tompolo triumph, taunting and flaunting widely reported ex militant and his company's impressive records in the war against crude oil theft and pipeline vandalism. In the region as satisfactory credentials to renew the job can you imagine because they themselves they chop from the contract now if they are not chopping from the contract they will not put energy around it now one of our sources disclosed that the trial in their alibi in favor of tompolo expressed conviction that renewal of tantita's contract would help in consolidating the gains so far recorded in the war against illicit deals associated with crude oil in the region the source said the management of NPCL has been having difficulties in renewing the pipeline surveillance contract given to Chief Tompolo to oversee the security and protection of crude oil pipelines in the Bayesa Delta, Imo, Ondo, and part of River State in 2022 because these colleagues, because his colleagues in the Niger Delta struggle are up in arms against him. They are opposed to an omnibus award of the same contract to him, they are saying that Tompolo cannot protect the pipelines in their area. Wow. This is a serious one. So we have no doubt that management of NPCL will take the right step by renewing the contract to enable us to strengthen and consolidate our efforts in the national interest. Those opposed to us are the oil thieves and their collaborators, which we have blocked this the sources of their ill-gotten wealth the tantita source added can you imagine the group general managing director public affairs npcl mr garuba dean muhammad also declined to comment on the report muhammad shown calls and messages sent to him on the subject uh, matter this is a serious one i knew it i knew it would come to this from the one that tinubu had decided 
to split that contract between Tompolo and Asaido Kubo, that fight will start. And fight will start. Someone say this captain simply means that uh, this caption simply means that the landlords are fighting, uh, struggling to be employed by their tenant as the gate man. <laughs> Can you imagine? Ah, uh, someone say it's federal government, their are tenant. You are an illiterate. We don't know who is a tenant here. We don't know who is a tenant here. This is what our police, civil defense service corps, NSCDC, Nigerian soldiers, okay, should have joined forces in safeguarding our oil pipelines and not contracting it to any private security outfit if our nation's resources are still under the government control. Okay, it is a shame how Nigeria has become suddenly under the palms of militants. Why do we have the police, NSCDC, soldiers, and even Air Force? It is quite sad, honestly. Thanks, Nigerian government don't know what to do. They are confused. That is it. They are confused. So that is what is happening. Let's have your comment over this battle on the renewal of the pipeline surveillance contract between the Nigerian ex-militants themselves. Thank you for listening and let's have your comments.